Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In today's episode, we will see how to do VLOOKUP and look up for values in more than one table. VLOOKUP is basically designed to do a VLOOKUP in a single table or a single data range. In case we have more than one data range or more than one table to look up for values, how do we do it? We will check that out in this video. So far, we have learned how to do VLOOKUP in the same workbook and in a different workbook. In case if you haven't already, make sure you download this file using the link in the video description to follow along with me. There are five worksheets in this workbook. The first one is see it, then do it. Table one, two and three. Table one and table two and table three. These are the sheets where our data is available. We are going to use this data to look up for values. Do it is the sheet where you will practice. See it is where I will demonstrate. Let us begin. I need to find out the values of full name for the list of employee IDs which are listed in column A. To do that, what I would do is I will start typing in VLOOKUP in cell B2. Equal to VL, as soon as I see that function, I press tab on my keyboard to complete that function. Now, using my mouse, I'll click on A2. That's the value I need to look up for. Insert comma. What is the table array? That's the second argument we look up needs. I'll go to table one and span my selection on column A and B. My full name is available in the column B, so I will stop my selection there. Insert comma. In my selection, the value I need is in column two. So I will insert number two, then zero for accuracy, then close the bracket and press enter on the keyboard. I have the name of that employee. This employee ID belongs to Edward. If I drag this down, I should find the names of all these employees. But see what happens. There are a few employees that are not found in table one. Maybe they are in table two or maybe they are in table three. What do we do now? Here is a simple catch. We will use VLOOKUP along with if error function. If error function is designed by Excel to trap and handle errors in the formulas. In case if a formula results in an error message, what should happen? If error function takes two arguments. The first one is value and the second one is value if error. Value is where you will pass in your function or a formula to check if it results in error. If it does not, it will simply execute the formula and provide you the result. If it results in error, then the if error will execute the second argument. You can pause the video and look at the different types of errors you may find in Excel and their explanations. Now I will get rid of this formulas here and placing my cursor again in cell B2, I will start typing in if error. If error, as soon as I see that function, I will press tab on my keyboard to complete that function. In the value section, the first argument of if error, I will start typing in VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP, then what do I need to look up for? I need to look up for A2. Where do I look? I look in table one. Select the column A and B, and I need the second column value, comma, accurate. So I will insert zero, close the bracket. Now we have entered the VLOOKUP function. As soon as I press comma, the if error function will ask me for what should be done in case if the result is not found and there is an error message. At this moment, I will simply enter not found in double quotations and close the bracket, press enter. Now when I drag this down, notice the cells that were throwing errors earlier will now show not found. If error is executing and in case of error, it is giving us the second part of the if error function that is not found. Now, here is a trick. Instead of not found, I will run a second VLOOKUP there. Here we go. Let me click inside the formula bar and get rid of not found. And here I will type in VLOOKUP. Lookup for what? This value? Where? I have already looked into the table one. I'm done. Now I need to look into table two. I click on table two, span my selection on column A and B. I need the value from the second column. I insert number two, zero for accurate match. Close the bracket. Now close the bracket of if error message. I will drag this down. See, I may find few more names now. There we go. You might see few error messages. It is because we don't have anything to handle these errors. We have already passed in the first VLOOKUP and in case of error, we are passing in the second VLOOKUP. Now to handle this one, we will place this entire if error statement along with VLOOKUPs 
in another if error. What I will do is I'll simply click inside the formula bar, select everything here, excluding the equal to sign and press control X on the keyboard to cut this out. Now I will type in if error. As soon as I see that function, I will press tab on the keyboard. Since I have previous function in my clipboard, I will simply press control V on the keyboard to paste it back. Insert the comma. What in case if this set of two VLOOKUPs is resulting in error? I will run the third VLOOKUP. Type in VL. As soon as you see that function, press tab to complete that function. I want it to look for this value. We are done with table one and table two. Now we are looking inside table three. I click on it, select A and B. I need the second column value. I need accurate or approximate. I need accurate. So I will enter zero. Close the VLOOKUP function and close the if error statement. Press enter on the keyboard. Now I need to simply drag this down. Wow. We found all the names. These employee IDs, some came from table one, some from table two and some from table three. We were able to find all of them. I want you to do this. I want you to find the department names here. Just follow these instructions. I will leave this function as it is in the practice workbook so that you can take a look at it. And I want you to find the department names using this technique on these employee IDs. Then go to do it sheet and try look up for full name, department, region, email, all these values for these employee IDs. Make sure that you practice as much as you can, because the more you practice, the more you will retain. If you aren't practicing, there are chances that you might forget this learning. So I insist. Make sure you practice as much as you can to retain this learning. And in case if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel for continued learning. Thank you so much for taking time. Stay happy. Stay lovely. Until next time.